Hi, I'm Margaret Reed McDonald. I'm going to tell you a story from the island of Borneo. The story is told by the Sungai people. Sungai in Malay means river, and the Sungai people live on the river, and so their houses are up on stilts because of the floods. I call this story Borneo Snake. You can find it in a book called The Singing Top, Folktales of Malaysia and Singapore that I wrote. This girl and her mother lived in a house beside the river. One night they heard someone calling under the house. Girl, come out and talk to me. Girl, come out and talk to me. Huh? The girl and her mother went to their balcony and looked over, and down on the ground below the house was a giant python snake. Girl, you're so beautiful. Would you marry me? No, I cannot marry you. I cannot marry a snake. Oh, girl, if you don't marry me, I'll be so sad. I'll have to cry. <laughs> and he cried and he cried and he cried till there was a puddle of tears all around the snake. Girl, look down here. See how much I love you. I cried all these tears for you. Now you're going to marry me? She said, no, no way. I cannot marry a snake. If you won't marry me. I'll have to cry some more. And he cried and he cried and he cried till there was water under the entire house. Girl, look now. See how much I love you. I cried all these tears for you. Now you're going to marry me? She said, No, no way. I cannot marry a snake. Oh, if you won't marry me, I'll have to cry some more. Oh, 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 oh. And he cried, and he cried, and he cried, and the waters began to rise up the house poles, higher and higher and higher and higher and higher, clear to the floorboards of the house, and the snake swam all around the house, calling, girl, look now, see how much I love you. I cried all these tears for you. Now you're going to marry me for sure, right? Right? She said, no, no way. I cannot marry a snake. Not have to cry some more. And he cried, and he cried, and he cried. And the waters came up through the floorboards into the house, up to their knees, up to their waist, up. And the girl and her mother had to climb on the roof to stay dry. And still the snake cried and cried and cried, and the water rose and, and reached the roof of the house and over the roof and up to their ankles, up to their knees, up to their waist again. And the girl said to her mother, Mother, what are we going to do? I think you have to marry the snake. If you don't, we're both going to drown. Okay, okay, I'll marry you. Just stop crying. Oh, I'll be so happy, girl. I'll cry big tears of joy. No, 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 no more tears. Oh, okay. And the snake stopped crying, and the waters went down, and the girl and her mother were able to climb back into their house. And the snake came to the foot of the ladder and called up, Girl, mother-in-law, can I get up and talk to your daughter now, mother-in-law? Uh, come on up. And the snake came up the ladder into the house and looked around. Ah, nice house. This is your house. Okay. Uh, shall I live here with you or do you want to come and see my house? Let's go with the snake, said the mother, and see what we've gotten ourselves into. So the snake led the way down the stream and they got in their canoe and they followed down the stream and down the stream and down the stream and down the stream and suddenly there was a big fine house. Wow! That's my house, said the snake. Mother, come out. I brought home a bride and a mother-in-law. And his mother came and looked over her balcony and she was not a snake at all. She was a beautiful lady. Mother, may, may we come up into the house now? Yes, said the mother. There's no sadness or sickness in our house. You may come up. And they climbed the ladder into the house, and the snake took mats and hung them to make a private room for the girl and her mother to sleep in at night. And while they were sleeping, the snake coiled up by the entrance. Early in the morning, 
when it was still dark, before it was even light, the snake began to stir. Girl, did you wake up yet and go to the river to get the water? She was still sleeping. <sighs> then the snake stood straight on his tail, took off his snake skin, and became a handsome young man. <laughs> He climbed on the ladder, he went to the river, he got the fish, he brought it back, he cleaned the fish, he fried the fish, he made the rice, he put it on a tray, he carried it up the ladder and put it beside the girl and her mother, put back on his snake skin and curled up again. Girl, wake up now, your dinner is ready. Mother, look, the snake brought us food. Wow, whoa, said the mother, he can really cook. Might be a good husband after all. Every morning it was the same thing. Early in the morning before it was even light, the snake would begin to stir. Girl, did you wake up yet and go to the river to get the water? She was always sleeping. And the snake would stand straight on his tail, take off his snake skin and become a handsome young man. <laughs> He'd climb down the ladder, go to the river, get the fish, bring it back, clean the fish, fry the fish, make the rice, put it on a tray, bring it up the ladder, put the girl on herself, her mother, and then put back on his snake skin and curl up again. Girl, wake up now, your food is ready. After a while, the girl said to herself, Something strange about this. A snake could catch a fish. How could a snake clean the fish, fry the fish, make the rice, put it on a tray, and carry it up the ladder? I don't think so. And that night, she lay awake all night long to see what could be happening. And early in the morning, when it was still dark, before it was even light, she heard the snake begin to stir. Girl, did you wake up yet and go to the river to get water? She pretended to be asleep, but she had one eye open. And she saw that snake stand straight on his tail, take off his snake skin, and become a handsome young man. Ho oh, ho! It's my husband. Oh, he's so cute. But she didn't make a sound. And when he was gone, she took that snake skin and she hid it away. And when he came back, she was waiting at the top of the ladder. Ha! I found you out. You aren't a snake at all. You're a handsome young man, and you're going to be my husband. Oh, yeah, and you finally woke up before sunrise, girl. Huh, guess you can go get some water and do some work around here now. Well, guess we can get married, he said. And so they hung up the big gongs for the men to play, the little gongs for the women to play. And the relatives came into the house and they sang and they danced and they played bong bong and they sang and they danced and they played bong bong and they sang and they danced and they played bong bong all night long. In the morning he said, what a party! Oh, wait a minute. Your friends didn't come and your relatives didn't come. They sent to her village and her relatives came in their canoes up into the house and they sang and they danced and they played. They sang and they danced and they played bong bong. They sang and they danced and they played bong bong all night long. In the morning he said, what a party! Hey, wait a minute. Your young friends didn't come and my young friends didn't come. They sent for the young friends and when the young friends came up into the house, whoo, the party really heated up. And they sang and they danced and they played bong bong and they sang and they danced and they played bong bong and they sang and they danced and they played bong bong all night long for seven days and seven nights. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, ha, 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 ha. And in the morning, everybody said, what a party! Oh, we gotta go home now. And they got in their canoes. And some went up the river and some went down the river. And they were gone. And the girl and her mother and the boy and his mother settled down for a happy life in their little house in their Sungai village beside the river in Borneo.